Hey guys, it's Caruth, aka Special K, back with you guys with another video again today. Um, I just watched Fantastic Four and, well, the movie trailer that just coming out for 2015, and it looks pretty awesome. It's taking a different tone than the other two before it, but this is a completely reimagined um, with cast and director, and I can't wait to see it. I know some folks have a little reserve about Johnny Storm being black as a human torch, but like, get over it. Come on. It's it's one of those things where uh, you either love it or you hate it, and I absolutely love the idea. I don't really care if, you know, his sister Sue Storm is white. They got something going on there, jungle fever going on with their family or something like that, but I love the idea and I can't wait to see it, and I hope you guys enjoy the movie as well too, and just forget about the whole black and white issue thing, because in the end, they're both human beings, so that's if you that's how you have to look at it. Next up, it's EA. Come on, man. EA, you're screwing up again with Need for Speed No Limits. Like, your game right now, it's... It's an iOS game, and now you're just nickel and diamond people who's ever trying to pay for or help play the game or whatever the case may be, and that just sucks. Like, you, we have to pay for gas in your game? Like, are you really serious? Your game is titles no limits and we you're putting a limit on what gas is in your game really we paying for digital gas now if that's the case i'd rather just go down the road and buy gas and put it in my own car there's no way i'm going to be playing this much less to support this idea of buying gas for a virtual car the gas in your game costs more than gas that i put in my actual car get the hell out of here with this bs ea Stop nickel and diamond. Come on, man. I remember when you guys used to be the it company. I used to run to it every single game you guys came out with back on the PS2. Nowadays, for two console generations since the 3, 4, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, you guys have been screwing up. Games were good back in the day on Xbox, um, the original Xbox, PlayStation. Even before that, you guys were making good games. Now, you guys are just nickel and diamond people and that thing needs to stop. Sony is making or would like to remake Resistance Fall of Man. I have no idea. I mean, my ideas on Resistance, I've always liked the Resistance series from the first one when I got my PS3 back in the day. That was like one of the first games I purchased and I played that thing religiously. Kind of like how I'm playing Destiny these days and couldn't get me off of it every DLC that came out I bought it and I kinda skipped over two and three even though if I can go back and I should go back and play them but um, if they come out with another one I'll definitely uh, check it out it seems like a very good idea I don't mind revisiting old franchises as long as you do it in a respectable way you know cuz I know Insomniac did it if you guys do it eh, you would have to um, what, how can I say this be true to the series but still adding your own flavor to it and that's just my take on things my final bit of news I'll have to put out there it's not really news per se I'm just in awe of Ninja Theory right now and their 13 man development team when it comes to the game Hellblade I am so excited for this game when it does come out on release and it lo already looks amazing. They put out development diaries ever so often. It was cover. It was a feature cover in what was it? PlayStation Magazine. And I can't wait for this game to come out. And I hope you guys check this game out when it comes out because it's being done by a smaller team. And it's not one of those big budget AAA games or whatever. But they're doing it on a smaller budget. And I can't wait to see what they come up with compared to. A game with a larger budget and it's gonna be it looks pretty amazing it looks pretty awesome and I can't wait for it